This is the story of a wild horse roundup. Horses have been on this land for many, many years. Long ago, there were many, many horses. Horses are many different colors. Some are black, brown, white, or gray. Some are two colors. Some are spotted. Can you think of some more? A long time ago, the fathers and uncles and big brothers would go out in the spring to catch the wild horses. They built new trap corrals out of poles from juniper, fir, or willow trees. Then dried trees were cut down and put in a row near the gate of the corral. These were called wing lines. After that was finished, the older men went out to start the wild horses toward the corral. The younger men and boys were told to hide behind trees and rocks at the end of the wing line. These people were called the shortstops. When the wild horses came galloping through, the shortstops came out from their hiding places to help turn the wild horses toward the wing line and into the trap corral. Sometimes the horses got away. Then the men would go out again after the wild horses. This time they would chase the horses to the trap corral and ride in through the gate of the corral. After the horses had been captured, they were separated. The horses that had owners that weren't branded were branded. Some were tied up to be taken home later. All the young boys who took part in the wild horse chase were given a young colt. The boys were to take care of the colt train it, and break it for riding. The horses were all kinds and sizes. There were good ones and mean ones. That is how wild horses were captured long ago. Today, the chase is just about the same. The corrals are more modern. They use wire for the corrals, and wing lines are also wire. Saddles are used today. Long ago, they did not have saddles or bridles and braided horsehair and rawhide strings were used for halters. There are still so many wild horses. The young colts, when caught, are still given 